Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today I wanted to add on to the Dry Fire series. So, I recently started reading uh, Dry Fire Reloaded by Mr. Ben Stoger. I'll do a review on this book when it is done. But there was one thing that I picked up the other day that I thought was extremely helpful, and I wanted to continue to add to this Dry Fire series. So that is, when it comes to striker fire guns, right, Glocks and whatever, when you're dry firing, you can usually only use the trigger one time. And after that it's 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 a dead trigger, right? And you gotta reset the gun in order to in order to work the trigger. So uh, I always was confused, you know, I'd like to practice shooting multiple times or whatever, and there's just no way to do that in dry firing, that just sucks. Well, it turns out there's there's kind of a workaround. Uh, what you can do is you can take a rubber band and you can put it in the ejection port here with the goal of putting the uh, slide out of battery. So it's going to look something like... Let me see if I can get it here. Give me a second. That. And it's almost kind of like a chamber flag kind of deal. Uh, but then, I can work the trigger multiple times. Now it's not perfect. You don't get the break. It's a little mush, right? It's Your slide's out of battery. That's what's going on. But with this, I'm able to practice multiple shots on a target, right? So I can come out, I can disturb, not make sure not to disturb my sights, and I can shoot here, I can come over to this target, and I can shoot here. Uh, I like this. I'm, I'm going to start using this. Again, it's not a perfect solution. It's dry fire. It's not live fire. But I like this little workaround, and I'm going to add this to my routine, and I'm going to start using this so that I can practice taking multiple shots. Uh, what he suggests in the book is to just pull the trigger really hard uh, in order to, you know, again, simulate working through that trigger break and making sure you're not disturbing those sights, because that, is, of course, is the most important thing when you're pulling that trigger straight into the rear. Excuse me. And it's the reason we practice it so much, is so that we don't disturb the sights when we pull the trigger. So, I thought this was a cute little workaround, I thought it was fun, and I am looking forward to utilizing it a lot more. I think it's going to be extremely helpful in my dryer fire training, and I hope that you add it to yours. Do brave deeds, and endure.